Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to the Wonders, Wonders, Wonders. Dad, you say don't give it a day job. Right, enough of the tea. Yamaha's YBR125, this is part two. Had a look round it, electrical windings, still not arrived. Clutch cable, still not arrived. But, we have a magical, I've done that one, haven't I? Okay, it's a box. And inside here is the ignition. Now this is a, oh, stop doing that. This is the exact same ignition I bought before, ignition even, um, but has a little uh, Yamaha printer. Oh, that's got Yamaha. Okay, now the wiring, I'm hoping, as this is a carburetor model, will fit. Now on the injection model, it's the same, but, these wires, if you do an injection one and you get this one here, it says 2002-2012, it's a lie. Okay, make sure it's carburetors or it's injections, one or the other. Now, if you do buy the wrong one I bought, cut the wires before you connect it, no blowing fuses, all right? What's involved? Headlight has to come off. That's so you can get the wires. Clocks, undo, move forward. Two 10 mil bolts here, there, there and undo the main nut here, there. So, undo, undo, undo. Take these two out, lift that off. This will wiggle up and you'll be able to get to the lock. It's as simple as that. The wiring feeds into the back of the loom of the headlight. So, headlight off, find the wires. Oh, let's get on with it. I've got to rehearse this better, haven't I? Anyway, still got the tyre machine down here. Still got some tyres to change. Notice on my other video, the Ducati Multistrade 1200S, beautiful bike. I went to work this morning on Urban. It's 100 brake horsepower, much smoother. I mean, you're right, it's 50 less than the sports mode. So have an S again. 50 less than the sports mode. Um, but it's not so jerky back and forth. You know, it was a bit slippy on this morning's road. I could be in third gear to a roundabout if I hadn't knocked down the second. It wasn't so lurchy. Um, I came back in sport and it's back to lurchy again. I reckon it's because and got a sports exhaust. That's probably the problem. Anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? I'll go a bit more detail in showing you how to do this ignition. Um, it does come with a petrol cap, and you see I throw on the floor the side cover little lock as well. Let's get on with it. This is where sometimes you think you've worked on one bike, the Mark II, and you think the Mark One's identical. And it's really not. So, on the other bike, there's two screws at the side. This one's got three screws, skinny screws, at the front. So, I take it off, expecting to find a jumble of wires. Nothing, nothing. Oh. But I did notice no bulb. The other one I got recently had a bulb. That saved me five pounds. Let's put the bulb in under the two side screws, move that out the way. Generally, and this is the point, generally, whether you're on the Speedfire, Air Rocks, um, the various systems are generally the same. A battery is a battery, you know, um, a starter is a starter. It's all general. If you get general motorbike knowledge, you can fix any bike. You just may take a couple of screws out for no reason. Which turned out I'm glad I did. It failed the MOT because it's got no bloody light in it. There you go, and I couldn't test it either. Right, let's take the front off now. This bike's playing not by the rules. Um, so you take the headlight down, like that. And look, ignition comes into four wires. Same colours though. Of course I have this. So I've got to cut all them and connect them. But wait, I hear you say. Shiny pack. £10 eBay. So I'm going to cut them, connect them properly. And then put them back when I connect it all in this handy little sleeve. So, headlight done, bulb down. Let's get this lot off, carry on with it. So the handlebars sort of resting. Um, you will need a small 10 mil and not a fat nose 10 mil because it's quite tight against the actual base of the handlebars. There's one 10 mil. And there's the other 10 mil there. This mate you just can't nick it that easy. Okay. This one isn't nicked, this one's just got a, a crap key basically. But you see what I'm trying to say? It's just that simple. It just sits back down on top of there, look. Bolt, one, two. And that ignition, wiggly wogglies, out of here. Just be careful not to pull any wires out, okay? 
double check your wires before you put them back together again. I've said this so many times, you can so easily pull a little earth out and suddenly you've got no indicators. Disconnect there and simply refit the new one. It really isn't hard. And it's missing the base, so moisture and stuff could have got in there. But I'm much more happier fitting much more happy fitting this nice new one. Um, without a crap key. Right, literally lift up, push back on, two screws, push it up. I didn't need to take the clocks off. Worked much better than last time. Last time the clocks were damaged and they were pushed over. This one isn't. So I left the clocks on, headlight back on, and uh, we have ignition on this bike. Still can't start or anything, obviously, because um, I'm late for the windings to arrive. So there we go. Next will be me just cutting into three wires, connecting them in there, got ignition, and then wait for the posting man to come for the electrical windings and the clutch cable. So we'll continue for you in a minute. Well, it came. Hermes again. Why are Hermes so late? Three parcels. This took a week as well. Look how clean that is. I'm actually quite surprised. That's very, very clean. Right, where does it go? Well, this way up and on here. And that will just literally slot straight in. So, connect up there, connect an earth to it, and away we go. Hopefully, might we get this started today. After a very, very long wait, got one. This one has been rewound. What difficult to say that? 256 pounds new, 150 pounds rewound. I could not get in. I could not get one anywhere. So I went back to the company that originally wound it for them a person who said I don't want it anymore. And I said, I'll have it. So, figure out the wires. These are yellow and white. There's a blue wire and there's a timing pickup. Remember I've said to you static calls do two things. This does electrics and that is for your timing. I've got to figure out there. On the bike, however, I had a blue wire and I figured it went here and on the casing there's a little slip for it I reckon so that's where it's going and up top I have which looks like a blue wire and two white wires so I'm gonna figure out there and there's the plug for the pickup this I'm gonna wipe out and clean I'm gonna double check all these bolts are bloody tight and on here check they're bloody tight as well and let's get it all back together and see if this little kitty runs. A cup of tea in hand. Not so hot. Let's get all this on. And then hopefully in the next clip you should see it starting. Remember this in my previous video. The longer bits. And my electrical stuff to make far better connections. All this lot. This. There's it. Hello dog. Here's the wires. They nicely go in there. But I'm going to bond all these together, up they go like that, and then connect all these nicely in there. I've been told it doesn't matter as long as I touch them. Well, looking back on, gear change all done. Right, let's get heat gunning. Some of you who watched my videos, um, the last video involving my last YVR, had a problem with the ignition. And guess what? It was the same again. It was a bloody ignition switch. It had no spark. So I take off the static coil again three or four times. Looked at this, cut the wires to see where I've got these all wrong, and they seem to be perfect. Back to this. Back to that again. To this again. Then to this. Then to this. Then to this. And I thought, wait a minute, bloody ignition switch again. So I took it apart and reconnected the old ignition switch and I get spark. Although it's not starting yet, so clean the carb and so on. But all good so far then, I have spark now. 
which means the status picking up. I know it's charging yet, it could be a regulator or anything yet. But um, yeah, it, you need to watch some of my own videos. I needed to think, wait a minute, I've had this before. On my speed fight videos, I used to do, I used to show you all working, but I didn't sometimes show you that I might have took the car right off six, seven times, and I might have done this six, seven times. You know, I just showed you, I did this, I did that, and that's what the problem was. And this is what I say to you sometimes, you know, take it off again, do it again, do it again, because there's something you might have missed, which was the ignition. Again, I could have tried to buy another static coil, I could have tried to buy another pickup, I could have took the whole thing off, turned out to be that. Right, got spark, let's get on. So I took the air fitter off, bit of fuel at the bottom of it. A little bit of easy start, and she fired up and then died. You know what it is now, didn't you? Don't always assume, okay? When I got this one, um, there was no oil in it, um, as you see me filling it up. Um, spark plug was dirty, also the cap was missing. So basically this has been left in the mobile shop, and little bits have been taken on and off of it. But the carburetor, this could have been sitting six, eight months, I don't know. They don't often jam up, but I started getting petrol out and she'd rev up and die. At least I know now the static core is working. I've done about charging the battery yet. I'm going to have to start the bike up and see where the volts come out. And obviously then I'll know, won't I? So, let's clean this carburetor. I've got many, many videos on cleaning carburetors. Take that off, undo these, it comes out. Upside, obviously this off as well and the electrics. Upside down and clean all the jets and stuff out. This is a manual choke, remember. But... As, as I said in many of my videos, carburetors are carburetors. Regardless of shape and size, they're still going to have the same basics. Float, main jet, island jet, choke. Do you know? So you can't get any easier than that. Right, let's get this off, clean this up. I've got to sort this ignition out as well. As you see at present minute, I've got the old ignition on there. I'm going to have to make sure it's wired correctly with these wires here. And if it is wired correctly, I may have to take it apart like I did the other one. Hoping not, actually, because um, it's a nice ignition. But at least you know, that was my problems. Very simple maintenance. Clean it up, put it all back, take pictures if you don't remember it. Watch the video slow, that's I've done a sort of montage of slowness now. Just little clips. Right, I'm gonna put all this back together, clean it some more. Cotton rag, yes, an old pair of you know what they are, but anyway, cotton rag, spray all up again, make sure there's no dirt, rubbish in here, put it all back together. Okay, where am I with this bike now? 
No, not really. Static oil. I said in my videos about getting one of these two lad, isn't it? So, one minute. Baby! Okay, it's better. I said in my videos about getting one of these. A big, big help. Static coil that caused me all the bloody problems. It's only chucking out 2.8 volts. Well, that's not enough, is it? So, it's running on battery, battery dies, electric start won't work, and so on. Ignition. I've got to pop the back off and have a look at the wires and then check with this one. Remember my other video? Same sort of thing with the ignition switch. They're just not the same, are they? Strongly suggest you're going to buy ignition from eBay. Don't buy the pattern part ones. Just pay the extra couple of quid. It's a lot better. I think I had that side on and off so many times before I thought, wait a minute, to do watch my videos. They really are packed full of helpful advice. Just done a thank you video, so I'm gonna do it here as well. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please keep that up. So, are we gonna hear this one start? I suppose you've got to, haven't you? When I first come to see this bike, it was just simple, clutch lever and a stator coil. That was it. Maybe carburetor could have sat for a long time. But it turned into tighten the chain, it turned into a new ignition system, it turned into a stator coil that I had to buy loads of times, um, clutch cable, um, and then loads of messing around with it as well. Um, there's something wrong with the static coil, as I said, so I've got to work that one out. I'm just going to start it up now, and then I'm going to find out from the windings people why it's only chucking out 2.8 volts and not DC and AC and that correct current. It's not going back to the battery, so not some regulator. It's coming out of the static coil. There's something wrong there. Do another cup of tea. Let's hear it. Full of fuel, obviously. I've got to turn the ignition on from here, which it works, and it's going to have to be kickstart. So, choke on. Remember, fumes, petrol fumes. Done videos before, been so high in here, not good. <laughs> I'm going to give myself a better camera, fisheye business, um, the sound quality. I'm going to get myself a much better GoPro now. So, let's move the camera, start this bike for you. Light bleed, got to kick it. bang noise might investigate that so there you go she runs got to finish off the ignition that's pulling it apart and why the status not chucking out the right volts again should be quite simple maybe a regular and needed there afterwards uh, possibly a new battery as well because that might be buggered so i am sorry for a very long video hopefully you enjoyed it cup of tea and some popcorn maybe or sandwich cup of tea and popcorn don't sound right does it would you have coke and popcorn isn't it? so um yeah cup of tea and a sandwich that would do Please like, share, keep subscribing to my channel, watch the upcoming videos. Thank you so much. Take care of yourselves.